start the grounding bolt in the hole in the side of the face. Next, strip off any installation on your ground wire and bend it into a half circle so it will fit under the ground bolt. Now tighten with a wrench. Installation manuals and closed in the systems show the antenna being grounded by a separate ground wire. When using a dedicated ground wire, route it directly to the ground block location. This ground wire should be run with as few bends as possible. If it is carrying a high voltage charge to ground, it will perform much better if there are no sharp turns or bends. The ground block is connected in line with the cables that run from the antenna into the home. The ground block removes static buildup from the cable by shunting it to ground. The ground block is always located as close as possible to the ground source. This allows any surge to move directly to the ground source before entering the home. That is why it is so important to keep the grounding process in mind during your site survey. Plan on routing cables in close proximity to the existing house ground circuit. The ground block is connected and allows the shield of the cable to be physically attached to a ground while the center conductor passes signal through to the IRD and voltage to the LNB. After routing the ground wire to the ground source, in this case, the ground wire is connected to the meter base ground wire. Clean the surface where you'll be attaching your ground. Make sure it is free of paint and that you have a clean area for a good connection. Place the ground wire coming from your ground block in the split bolt with the existing ground wire and secure it tightly. Now the RG6 cable shield is grounded. 